in section 13.4, we are looking at partial derivatives. So here we're going to be differentiating multivariable functions in Rn with respect to any one of their n variables. So I want to make a little general statement here before we look at the definition. So when we are computing partial derivatives, it's going to be crucial that we keep in mind what variable we are differentiating with respect to. And now this is because we're going to treat all other variables in the function as if they were constants and then differentiate as if we had a single variable function. So again, this is because we treat all other variables in our function as constants, real numbers, and differentiate them as if we have a single variable function. So again, it's going to be crucial to always keep in mind, what am I differentiating with respect to? Because all the other variables in that function will be treated like constants. And as a result, we differentiate as if we are given or working with a single variable function. Now to help us prepare for the definition of the partial derivatives of a function of two variables, let's take a quick minute to recall the limit definition of the derivative. So let's suppose that we are given a function, a single variable function, y equals f of x. So think back to calc one. Then we know that the derivative dy dx, or we could simply write this as f prime of x, is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of the difference quotient. So that's going to be the function f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So this is that limit definition that we already know and love from single variable calculus or from calc one. So we're going to see as we look at the definition of partial derivatives of a function of two variables that it's going to look very similar to this definition. So here we go. So here is the definition for the partial derivatives of a function of two variables. So to begin, let's let z be equal to f of x, y, and we're going to let this be some function in R3. Now we also want to go ahead and let the ordered pair x, y be some point in the domain of our function. So we have two partial derivatives because we have two independent variables. So the partial derivative of our function with respect to x is defined as follows. We say the partial derivative of the function f with respect to x at some point x, y is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of the difference quotient. Now the only major difference here is that our function has two variables. So it's always, again, crucial to keep in mind, what am I differentiating with respect to? So with that in mind, the difference quotient is f of x plus h y minus the original function f of x y all divided by h. So it's the same difference quotient or the same limit definition of the derivative that we know and love. We've just incorporated an extra variable in. Now I also want to express to you some alternative notations for this partial derivative. So thus far we have the partial derivative of our function f with respect to x at some point x, y. We could also use a differential notation, we could say that this is the derivative of the function f with respect to x at some point x, y. We could also simply use a subscript notation, f sub x. Now also keep in mind 
that our function is defined here in explicit notation as z is equal to f of xy. So we could alternatively write the partial derivative as the derivative of z with respect to x. Or again, we could use our subscript notation, z sub x. So all of these different notations mean the same thing. It means you have the partial derivative of your function with respect to x. Now, to compute this partial derivative, we're going to treat y like a constant and then differentiate with just respect to x. So we treat y like a constant, like a real number. and differentiate with respect to x. So you treat y as if it's a constant, or you can say that you're going to hold y fixed and then differentiate with respect to x. Now this is only one of our partial derivatives in the definition, so let's go ahead now and look at the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. So continuing right along with our definition, we now want to go ahead and explore the definition for the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. And keep in mind that we have the explicitly defined function z is equal to f of x, y. So the partial derivative here with respect to y is defined as f sub y at some point x, y. And again, we use the limit definition. This is the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. And again, it is just as crucial here to remember, what am I differentiating with respect to? So here we're differentiating with respect to y. So we have the difference quotient defined as f of x, y plus h, minus the original function, f of x, y, all divided by h. So again, I want to express some alternative notations for the partial derivative of the function f with respect to y. So thus far, we have f sub y at the ordered pair x, y. We could again use our differential notation, df dy, the derivative of the function f with respect to y at some point x, y. We could simply use our subscript notation, f sub y. And again, keeping in mind that our function is defined explicitly, we could rewrite this as the derivative of z with respect to y. Or again, we could also use the subscript notation, z sub y. So all of these notations mean that we have the partial derivative of our function with respect to the variable y. And this is not an, an exclusive list. Other notations exist. These are the most commonly used in our class. And last but not least, how are we going to compute this partial derivative? Well, here we're going to treat x like a constant and we'll differentiate with respect to y. So we treat the variable x like a constant and differentiate as if we have a single variable function. We differentiate with respect to y. So again, it's crucial to keep in mind what variable am I differentiating with respect to because all other variables in that function are constants or being treated like constants. 